Coming up on today's episode of Airborne on Demand. A couple received a settlement from the Sussex police after being wrongfully arrested. Douche Jerome will be demonstrating a UAV food delivery system. And Kitty Hawk's flyer program comes to an end. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Paul and Elaine Gate have received a 200,000 pound settlement from the Sussex Police after they were wrongfully arrested in connection with the Gatwick Airport drone sightings. In December of 2018, Armed officers stormed the gate's home and arrested Paul and Elaine after drone sightings at the airport forced it to close for three days, disrupting about a thousand flights. The gates were released without any charges after being held for 36 hours, despite the fact both of them had been at work during the time of the incident and did not own any drones. In addition to the 200,000 pound settlement, the gates also received a letter of apology from the Sussex police. However, they never received an explanation for why they were held for such a long period of time. In a statement, the couple said, we are delighted to have finally received vindication. It has been a very long fight for justice. We look forward to moving on and putting this terrible episode behind us. No one has yet to be charged in the 2018 incident. However, police have investigated around 100 people. Now let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. For the third time in three weeks, SpaceX will be launching another round of satellites for their Starlink Internet Network tomorrow from Launchpad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida at 4.39 p.m. This will be Starlink's 10th mission, and two commercial Earth imaging microsatellites owned by Black Sky will join the Starlink payload into orbit. SpaceX's first SmallSat rideshare program launch took place back on June 13th with the launch of 58 Starlink satellites, along with three of Planet Sky Sats. Honeywell has formed a new business unit dedicated to unmanned aerial systems and urban air mobility industries. Equipped with its own engineering and sales resources, the UAS business unit will develop new products and services required for these markets. It will also act as a systems integrator for all Honeywell products and services that could be used in this industry. Drone Delivery Canada has entered into a commercial agreement with Global Medic to use its drone delivery technology to provide service to the Beau Soleil First Nation community in Ontario. Drone Delivery Canada Sparrow Drone Solution will be used by BFN to limit person-to-person -person contact on its island ferry service by transporting COVID-19-related cargo, such as PPE, hygiene, and test kits. Flights will be conducted under Canadian aviation regulations and Transport Canada flight authorizations and will be remotely monitored by DDC. Altitude Angel and Inmarsat are collaborating to develop and deliver advanced flight tracking and management capability for UAVs. The two companies will build on Altitude Angel's Guardian UTM platform to jointly develop a pop-up UTM capability that can be deployed anywhere it is required to manage BVLOS and UAV flights without the need for ground-based communications infrastructure. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Like most of you, we're still working from home. We miss being around pilots. But the most important thing right now is to mitigate your risks and use this time productively while we all get through this. Folks, King Schools is open and we're 100% operational. We're making sure that your courses work and are available for you 24-7. We look forward to the time when we can see you again at the airport. Affordable and economical. Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the LightSport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrol is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. 
Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Drone has signed a demonstration agreement with Potter's Wings Mobile, a Buffalo Wild Wings franchisee, to conduct a demonstration of the company's drone delivery system. The demonstration is planned to take place at the end of August at the franchisee's Mobile, Alabama Buffalo Wild Wings Sports Bar. Deuce Drones will be responsible for the design of the aerial drone delivery interface system, including the design and operation of the landing, recharging, and package handling system. Partnering with Deuce Drones will give us the opportunity to test new ways to evolve and meet the takeout needs of customers through drone technology, stated Brian Jordan of Potter's Wings Mobile. Kitty Hawk has put an end to their flyer program and is now putting their focus towards winged heavy side eVTOL aircraft, which are expected to hit speeds of up to 180 miles an hour and have the ability to fly over cities. The company states, like many others in the UAM market, their ultimate goal is to free the world from traffic. Kitty Hawk debuted their flyer program about five years ago, but cited technical problems and safety issues made them question flyers' practical use. The company also began seeing the aircraft as a foundation for ride-sharing services rather than a vehicle for individual purchase as originally intended. Weighing just 250 pounds, the aircraft was designed to be a Part 103 legal ultralight aircraft. And over the course of the program, Kitty Hawk built 111 aircraft and more than 75 people flew the flyer. The company states they've learned what they needed to know from the project in respects to vehicle design, testing, manufacturing, and how humans experience EV toll. And that wraps up our show, everyone. Thanks for watching, and if you liked today's episode, be sure to subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you again on Friday.